Okay, so this is the remarkable, wonderful, and longtime friend, Steve Ellis. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> You know, artist extraordinaire and creator of the book that you see behind him, but he'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Steven, years we've known each other a number of years, and a few years back, you did a wonderful short blackjack story of mine called The Color of Courage, which not only got published in the United States, thank you, but actually was first published in Holland. That oh, was wow. the first. That's that right. was the first place that it was published. So. Anyway, I just want to get, you know, whatever your feelings are about working on Blackjack or the character or anything that you want to say about it. Oh, I think uh, Blackjack's a fantastic character. I, I really, really, um, I remember when uh, when you were working with uh, Jamal on uh, Blackjack, I remember being jealous, going, I want to do something on Blackjack. <laughs> so, uh, so the opportunity to work on it with you uh, was great. And I also kind of, we kind of did like a, a little bit more of an animated style for it. And that was really fun to kind of play around with like a different, a different take or a more of a strip style take on the book, and uh, and 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 so and what's really neat about Blackjack is I got to do that version, as well as I did a one print version of him, uh, as well, and that was a lot of fun too because I got to explore like the more illustrative deep side as well and I just think he's a great character. Like, like, was that the one that was sort of like he's in Peru almost? Or yeah he's yeah. in Peru and he's like I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly he's like there's statues and stuff the statue, he's kind of right, exploring. And he's right and, in, and there are uh, indigenous people coming at him you know. Yeah, yeah it's really like yeah. you know he's about you know it's very pulpy kind of feel yeah, and, and yeah. I think the, the great part about that was just that the thing that I really liked about Blackjack is the uh, kind of international adventuring and pulpy aspect of it and, and black just just like a really fun really tough kind of character he's like a a a, a badass indiana jones <laughs> would be like the best way to describe him in some ways um and so that's what made him so much fun to kind of like play around with because he had that exploration and the, but he's also you know you don't get the sense that you know he breaks his hand punching someone in the face. You get the sense that he's gonna kick someone's butt. So uh, yeah, so Blackjack just is kind of like all around just a fun, so much of a fun character. And and Alex, um, you've been doing it for so long, and he's such a great you know uh, just such a great writer and creator and making the the keeping it alive all this time and really keeping it alive in everyone's mind. Like I still look fondly on the pages I did of Blackjack. I still have them in my like in my top you know shelf of stuff that I'm happy to, to have worked on I have that print that one piece I did like I still I think I have it on my wall oh um, wow this is one that. of the pieces I have up on the wall of my own I have very few pieces of my own and that's one of them um, thank you man wow and, uh, just cause like I, I the character was very inspirational well really hopefully like, one day we'll get to do this again in some way shape or form I mean, that'd be you know, wonderful yeah uh, you know it'd be great I, it, again it's the the sense of adventure um I really, I really love comic books. I really love stories that take characters and me as a reader to other worlds and other places and and uh, and, and stretch beyond just like you know the everyday. Take you out of your space and into these exciting, you know, adventurous places. So Blackjack always did that. The whole you know that's why he was in Peru running around and all the different stories we did where he's you know running you know fighting off different. I think they're occultists or. Been a while. Assassins, assassins hunting him right. down, and all through these, yeah. you know, all these different settings and everything, and uh, so it's just so much fun to work in that world. Well, thank you, thank you. Now, I want to, I want to get because you mentioned different worlds, and I, mean, I want to just grab a moment to talk about what you've got. Like we've got the only living boy oh. behind you, yes. which is definitely another world. Yeah, so so the only living boy. It's interesting. It kind of has a little bit of a pulp feel. It's adventure in the same way. Uh, it's about exploration. He he, this boy wakes up in this alien world. Uh, where you know it's part New York City and part all these different alien worlds. He has no idea where he is, and it's all about survival and uh, exploration and trying to figure out how to you know how to survive and figure out how you work within the world around you. And so it's 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 got in the same kind of spirit actually. Well, I'm, I'm actually going to span uh, just down the table here to to the books because. Well, the artwork is, is outrageous. Now, you obviously you do all the illustrations. Do you also do the coloring as well? Yeah, I do. Um, I have someone who does the color flats, which is like the um, the uh, underpinnings of it. Right. But I go in and I, I I make the color my own, and so everything you see 
is uh, my color choices and my rendering and everything. Because yeah, I really a very rich, a, very very rich, almost like a painting. It has a very rich feel to it. Very I, yeah, I, I I I studied painting, so that's kind of the background on that. I I like to use. Uh, I like to use intense color. <laughs> so where can people get this? I mean, uh, obviously you, if we're here at yep. the Comic-Con, but the, where else? Yeah, whenever we're at a con, uh, you can read it on Comixology. You can read it for free on our website, um, which is olbcomic.com. And it's in comic book stores, bookstores, Amazon, uh, sometimes on Target, and Walmart. And, uh, and it's coming out through Paper Cuts as our publisher. Ah, ah, okay. And That's so, Jim uh, Salacroft in the Yeah, Jim Salacroft yeah, okay. and Terry uh, Nancier. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's... Uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's really, it's really so much fun. Well, you great. know, it's funny because you, Jamal, and... Um, Fred Van Linty, you know, that was that was the unholy three back in the day, and now you've all blossomed off into your own directions and yeah. created your own, you know, your own body of work. So it's really great to see this. And yeah, thank it's you so, so great to see everybody kind of, you know, keep going and doing their different things. Yes, as we get more mature. <laughs> so great. Thank you so much, Steve. I really appreciate Thanks it. Okay, lot, Alex. take care. Appreciate it too.